Hello, this is uh, summary number three of Linz Langston Schooner. Remember that you must check out the poetry uh, summaries as well, the poetry videos. There's a separate video on every poem to help you out. If you have not uh, received all these notes, uh, this is how you get it, remember. <coughs> you... Uh, transfer 100 bucks into that bank account. I then email you the Lins along Don Schooner summary. It's the whole book, every detail summarized in what, 25 pages or 30 pages or whatever, as well as all those notes on the poems that go with those poem videos. So I really don't think there's anything else you need and all that is for a hundred bucks if you don't have it yet uh, make a plan and i will send it to you get it sooner rather than later uh, thanks for the comments and glad to hear that the summaries are <laughs> helping a little book a little bit it's a really uh, long book i'm sure you'll agree that to read this thing is hectic there's so much detail and unfortunately all the detail is important so let's go through it just to uh, help you out a little bit um, the what I'll do is I'll highlight as we as we talk okay I just want to see that we are uh, recording yes okay cool all right so let's go on to chapter eight uh, that's where we stopped last time uh, weird Maria Okay, so what is this about? This is the role that Lina is going to be playing in that drama, The Breakfast Club. Okay, and the teacher there is Jeffrey Breitenbach. So there's so many characters in this book. So if they ask you who the drama teacher is, you need to be able to say Jeffrey Breitenbach. Okay, so that's how well you need to know this. Um, Everything is in the summary, so uh, I don't know what um, other guides or books you'd be using. I'm sure they are helpful, but um, this is very short and to the point, so maybe pick it up. Um, it'll help you a bit more, maybe. Um, so she if a group the role all by car to assign the roles, okay? My role for the teacher. That's not ten roles. Everybody's going to do something. And now they actually mention who's going to play who. Um, like, yeah, Sonette is going to play Jenny. Ricky is going to play the role of Rona. Alma is going to play Esther. Lina is going to play Maria. That's obviously the important one. I don't think that you're going to be put in a situation where you need to say who's going to play which role. I think that would be a very mean question. But I put it in... Just in case, maybe you are a perfectionist and you uh, you aiming for like a 95% for Afrikaans or something. But personally, I would not have bothered to learn these names. I would just know that Lean is uh, the role of Weird Maria, or she calls her Weird, at least. Interesting that Mimi does not get a role. So she bursts out in tears. Uh, she then hears that she has to play the the cleaner, the school marker. Uh, the rest of the kids who did not get roles, the other kids are going to help with the decor. They're going to help with the decor, the bemarking, the marketing, and of course the costumes. Okay, so it's like a team effort. The whole class is going to be involved. Friday after school, uh, before she has to go and work. Okay. Drink, say, and vote their coffee by Wimpy. So this little tradition of theirs continues. I is by a play with her role in a toenail stick. He's very happy that she has a role. Remember, so they must, might ask you why. So this is because he, remember, he is getting more and more involved in the school, more and more integrated, making friends and so on. However, Lin still prefers to be the loner, and not get too much involved. Voter thought that her going for the role and going for the drama 
um, would help her to get more involved, make friends, etc. Okay, so Wouter vertel that he and his sister Yvette, so that you need to know that. Who's Wouter's sister? It's Yvette. Uh, for the holiday, they're actually going to his dad and the dad's new fro, the new wife, the new woman, okay, in Bloemfontein. Remember, he comes from Bloemfontein. So here we hear a bit of personal information about Vota, which is uh, important. He says, hey, miss a pa, and a lot of people find their new fro. They actually quite like the new uh, woman that's in his life. Uh, he says the new fro is good for his pa. She's good to him. And they can't hate uh, their, their dad for, for having a new woman in his life. So um, I think the implication there was that the mom, so that his ex-wife, sort of wanted the kids to, to choose um, between the parents or something like that. But it doesn't really go into much detail. And I don't think it's addressed ever again in the book. But they might ask you what uh, voters' uh, home situation is, and you can pick out pick out quite a few marks there. Then, yeah, this is important. So, voter then asks if she also misses her dad, Lean. She doesn't answer, and then she asks for the bill. So she's not ready to talk about that yet. And as the reader, we don't really know much too much either. Okay. Uh, Bram kom half three na die salon. He's coming to the hair salon. He is there obviously for his haircut, but also for another reason. I hope you can remember what it is. It's to ask for that sponsorship. So Donovan laat for Bram sit and kijk hoe hulle Bram se krille gaan snuide. He has quite curly hair. Lin instigates this whole thing. She says, Sy vra vir Bram klip hard of hy nie vir Dirkie en Donovan wil vra om sy cricket span te borg nie, to sponsor his cricket team. Lien verduidelik, she explains, dit gaan vir hemde, pette en sakke, shirts, caps and bags. She says, uh, she obviously has the whole thing planned out in her head. She says, Creations logo can go on the shirts and um, the people will then stream, the people will soon to stream, on the hair to snake. This will be good uh, publicity, good advertising. To Donovan Frau Ufiel, Bram comes up with a figure of 3,000. Okay, which is not the figure that him and Lin, Lin sort of decided on before. I can't remember what it was now. I think it was, it was far less than that, 2,000, I think. Don't quote me, I can't remember so many details. Okay, so Donovan said that they don't have cricket from cricket. Donovan, then they think about it, they sort of cut, go on cutting the hair. They don't give an immediate answer. Uh, and they said, Donovan's comment was, we don't really know anything about cricket. We don't really see how a um, hair salon can sponsor a cricket team. Okay, which is understandable. Lin answered that it is not needed. She says, no, it's not needed at all. You don't need to know anything about cricket. Blootstelling is the most Exposure is the most important thing. So they might ask you here, how did Lin go about convincing uh, Dirkie and Donovan to sponsor Brahms cricket team? So that might be the question there. Donovan says, Rach. So he agrees, but he will the logo on everything. He wants the logo on everything. And they want to choose the color of the shirts. Okay, which is strange because normally you would use, you would surely wear your school colors or white shirts, I, I would imagine, for cricket. Um, anyway, that's the uh, requirement. But I will eat say what he clear, more lean care on. Brown wanted to say something about the color, but Lin was like, no, 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 just chill, we'll fight that battle later when we get there. Okay, and Brown looks very good with his new haircut. Okay, so everything is happy and going well in Chapter 8. 
Okay, a res op die menu, a ration on the menu. Lien het tot lade aan televisie gekyk en sy is moeg, to sy die volgende ochend moes werk. So she watched TV until late that evening, she's tired when she had to, to work the next morning. Oh, then she gets to the hair salon and Dirkie and Donovan is quiet for my car. They are, there's, there's a bit of tension there. They're not really talking to each other. Um, and they use lean on boodskappen on elkaar oor te draa. They use, they don't talk, so they send lean between the two of them to, uh, to send messages and to, and to communicate. Okay. Die kombuis is weer recht geskuis soos het was. Remember, uh, Lien fi uh, fixed the kitchen, she made it far more practical. But when she gets back, she sees that the whole kitchen was uh, moved back by Mary. Mary works there in the morning. She obviously didn't like what Lien had done to the kitchen and she moved everything back. Recht geskuif, uh, moved it back. Die salon, is, die salon is so besig dat Lien moet help om klienten sy haare te was. It gets really besig, busy. She has to, actually has to watch, uh, uh, wash clients' hair. Dirkie is by kwaad. He is very upset and he shows it by calling Donovan by his real name. So Donovan is, uh, is like his... Uh, um, Okay. How can I say? Not his stage name, but his sort of business name. Nobody wants to go cut their hair by someone called Gert Peters Engelbrecht. It's much cooler to say, and perhaps socially sort of acceptable to say, Donovan cuts my hair. That's just the name that he gave himself. Probably for business reasons more than anything else. Okay, so they are like pro those are like proper Afrikaans names. So you need to know that. Eh? You need to know that Donovan's real names are Gert, Pietrus, Engelbrecht. Don't think that it's not important. I promise you. Just trust me on that. It's you're gonna have to put a hell of a lot of effort into learning the details. And. Uh, it just is what it is, and yeah, so that's why I've made these summaries and bullet points. Uh, yeah, I just I don't think it, you can reduce it much further. Okay, anyway, uh, Donovan Gevelin, I wanted to round on it so, so, so by help it, she gets 100 bucks because they were really busy, and she she helped out quite a lot there that morning. Lin loop is to and wacht nie vir Turkey om te kom nadat hy in woede um, weggeloop het nie. So, uh, Dirkie should have sort of walked out in anger and normally she would get a lift back to, because they live in the same block of flats, remember? Uh, so, she didn't wait for him, so she's like, nah, I'm not going to wait for him to come back. I'm just going to walk home. She get, comes home, she, oh, she, so she goes to the shop first and she buys chicken pieces, some some meat, some oats, some rice, um, and a small bar one for her and Brom. I, I really don't hope they get silly and ask you what five or six things she bought from the shop in chapter nine. Um, that would be a mind-numbing question, I don't, I don't, but it's possible. Anything's possible. That's got to be your attitude w w uh, when you're doing lean. Okay. Brom, Kair. By oopsie, that's a mistake. He came by what was his friend's name? Jeez, now I'm stumped. Um, he visited that friend for for the weekend. He was uh, oh, come to me now. Maybe just help me out there. What was the friend's name that he always visited for the weekend? He stayed always stayed over there for the weekend. Um. Our ma wacht in die kombuis met a glas wijn. Her mom is waiting in the kitchen with a glass of wine. Where have we seen that before? Sounds quite familiar. When she unpacks the uh, the shopping. Lynn thinks it's uh, net sy in our ma in die Russische klassieke muziek op die space car. So that's where the title links in. Lynn thinks, oh, it's another Russian on the menu. Uh, instead of proper food, 
it is Rus Russian classical classica music. Um, our ma say that she slecht feel that Lina her own geld gebruik. She says, oh, I feel quite bad that you're using your own money to buy groceries. The mother is totally out of it. She's like had a complete breakdown. She takes solace in her classical music and uh, and alcohol and wine. So yeah, okay. Uh, then she her ma that her ma class four lessen moet gee, and that so and she vraag weer hoe kom sy nooit class four speel nie. So this is an, just a little. It becomes important later in the book where the mom doesn't play piano any, anymore. So that, that sort of a, becomes a symbol of uh, past happiness when things were normal, a symbol of normality. Um, and it's something that the mom could do she could she could give um, piano lessons uh, Lien besluit sy sal dan self speel she has a little uh, a temper uh, outbreak there a little tantrum and she sits by the piano and she plays uh, this Blau Danal, what say no can on to from law school. Our mach and our calmer and slide dear the mom's reaction is that she walks to the uh, to her room and, and locks the door. Lynn goes to her room, she tries to study for maths. Uh she the book on her bed and she throws the book under her bed. Lynn Drum, Turkey do eats arclux met or horror. She has a dream where uh, Dirkie does something horrible with her hair. So I drew my clear the pers and I had a silver nies ring on and that she has a silver uh, um, nose ring. Well, that he has a silver, uh, oh, that she has a silver nose ring. Okay. Linse ma luister achter a gesloten deur na Pavarotti. Sy antwoord nie to Lien klop nie. She's listening to music in her room. Doesn't doesn't open the door. Uh, Lien brai hunder achterpils en tomati van pei. The next morning she makes chicken, potatoes and tomato for breakfast. Sy is eensam uh, en denk daar om om Wouter te bel of om dan die beste gaan kaar. So she thinks about phoning Wouter. She thinks about visiting uh, Danny Betts. Those are our own real, our only real uh, options socially to, to connect um, but she decides against it. She probably thinks that voters with these other friends and Tony Betts um, sort of never stops talking and can be a bit overwhelming. Anyway, so the video at the end of that chapter, die, die camera volg a lang man met donker haar, a tall man with dark hair. As I said before, it becomes very easy to identify these people um, at the end of the book. So I'm not going to say who they are now in case she's still reading it in class. Uh, he, he climbs up a, a, a ladder against the side of the wall. Three little girls are sitting on the roof. Uh, looks like they're stuck on the roof. The one has dark hair. The other two has, they have uh, blonde hair. They, they, they are twilling. They are twins. The man probeer hulle oor reet, he tries to convince them to get off the roof. Die meisie met die donker haar hou a kat vast, she's holding a cat. Okay, they obviously, I think, probably went onto the roof to save the cat. Die tweeling klim af, the, the twins get uh, down, but the little girl refuses. Die persoon... Waar die video kijk, fries die video op die lang man. Die pauses de, freezes de video. Looking at this tall man. Hij staan op en raak in die scherm. He, he gets up and he, and he touches the screen. Okay. That was chapter 9. Iets om die palaat te verfris. Something to refresh the palate. Let's just make sure we know what the link is to that chapter title. That is important. Wouter vraag Lien weer of hulle na die matriek dans kan gaan. She asks him again about the matriek dans. Oh, 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 he asks her, sorry. Lien 
Na, Lin, remember they thought sort of thought that ah, it's it's not for them, it's this big joke, whatever. It's not important. Only stupid people do it. Only those pretentious people get excited about something like a metric dance. Uh, but now Lin is scared that if she says no, that I say near say, then Voter would ask those other two girls who seem quite keen uh, for Voter and. If, if she says no, then, then he'll just ask them, one of them. Lin weet nie waar sy die rok sal kry nie. The other problem is, of course, the dress. Where would she get a dress? And she's not really sure if Wouter would go for the t-shirt and tacky thing. Uh, Wouter vertel haar van sy vakantie in Bloemfontein. He tells her about his holiday in Bloem. Um, that it all went well, I think. There was nothing really, yeah, that he, that he said there that was important, I don't think. Tijdens uh, die Engelse les is Mr. McMillan afwezig, the English teacher, and what Lynn does is she writes down the reasons why uh, Scotland should be on her list of places that she wants to visit. Okay? Rien, then she gets angry. Ze raakt kwaad toe, toe sê uh, Wouter en Ricky sien lachen gesels. Sy dink, wie, Ricky weet niks van Wouter af. En she's like, oh, these girls are so shallow. They know nothing about my friend. They know nothing about his history, about his life, about his personal life in Bloom, about his uh, divorced parents and all those challenges that he faces. It's Tuesday afternoon and Creations is uh, closed. Outside the school gate, she finds Mimi. Mimi is that uh, the strange girl in her, her uh, drama class. And she invites Lynn to Wimpy. Uh, they both order steak and chips. Uh, and Mimi is quite excited about her role as the cleaner, remember. And she tells Lynn how she wants to spice up that role. What she wants to do, she says she wants uh, to, uh, and the reason she wants to do that is because she says we'll commentar op die vrouwse rol in die samenleving geer. She wants to give commentary on the woman's role in society. That's her goal. Okay, so yeah, a strange girl, but she ends up being quite a good friend for, for Lien. Okay. Mimi sê, sy het vir Lien genooi, omdat sy nie rechte vriende het nie. So she's quite open by it. Uh, about it. She says, I invited to you because I don't really have friends. And I also like the fact that you don't take any nonsense from the school. Mimi vertel Lien van haar ma. Uh, this, yeah, so this is uh, uh, Mimi's personal information, uh, information, family information. Her mom has a, a, master's, grad, a master's degree in applied mathematics. But she's never worked. And she sits the whole day watching um, soapy dramas on TV as well as the cooking channel. Uh, her, her husband, so Mimi's dad, doesn't want her to work. Her dad has an IT business in Joburg and he makes a lot of money, but he's not, he's not at home very often. And when he is, he listens to Pink Floyd. He drinks uh, whiskey and he builds model planes. So they're still at the Wimpy and they order something sweet to refresh the palate. That's the link to your title there. Oh, Dion, that's, our, that's the guy at <laughs> whose house he stays. Okay, so Dion, you see, there's so many characters, I can't even remember all of them. I don't know how you're going to do it. Um, yeah, good luck. Um, stick it up on a wall or something. This is what I would do with the summaries. Is I would literally pull the characters out uh, as a start and just see who these people are. So, Lynn Mark via Ruur Eir and Boinkies. She makes scrambled eggs and beans. I would assume it's like baked beans uh, for supper. In the video uh, that this person watches, there's a very tall Christmas father character. Okay, Santa. Uh, there's a little girl, little boy, uh, looking at him, staring at him. Uh, the boy pulls off his hat, 
the Santa's hat, and there's a big bush of black hair. So it's the same tall man that keeps up popping again, same tall man that we read about in the video of chapter 9. Whew, okay, let's do one more chapter. Julia Roberts, Sonnery Moore. Julia Roberts without the mouth. You have to Breitenbach. Okay, you must know who she is. Frau Felina Mata help. Oh, this is an important chapter. To help her um, neaten up or clean up the costume room. The requisite kamer. Okay. And this requisite kamer takes on a bit of a symbolic value in the book. There's actually very few of this uh, sort of things in the book. But to me, the costume room sort of represents all the roles that Lynn has to play in her life. And, uh, and her sorting out the room uh, and the costumes sort of predicts that she is busy separating and sorting out the roles in her life. Or that she will do it pretty soon. Okay, hope that makes sense. Uh, she takes Mimi along. Okay, and they have a very good time there. Uh, all the vorige opvoerings, all the previous plays, decor is in this room. Uh, it's also the actor's dressing room. The aantrekkamer. Lien and Mimi pack all the old costumes in boxes. They pack it all in boxes. Lien vindt a prijk met rooi brein krilhaare en sit het op saam met a brilliekie lien list. She finds a little a wig. Now this is an important moment in the book with uh, red brown hair and she puts it on with a small pair of glasses. There's the link to the title. Mimi then says that uh, lien looks like Julia Roberts but without the mouth. Lien and Mimi begin orde skip in die kamer. Die stof gemering in die kleren, in kleuren, dust, make-up, clothes, clothes, laat lien thuis voel. Interesting comment, makes her feel at home. And there I took that note for you. Die requisite kamer word a symbol van al die rolle wat lien in haar leven speel. It becomes a symbol of all the roles that she plays in her life. Hulle skep orde in die kamer en sy probeer orde skep in haar leven. Why is this autocorrect is flippin annoying? Just like it. Sorry. It's bloody um, annoying when you type a word and then it changes it. Um, okay, so just take note of that. That's quite important. Uh, quite an important note. So Sue Ellen, Swanapool. We haven't heard, I don't, think we, I don't think we've seen her surname yet. Sue Ellen is the one with the baby. The one that Lean is standing in for. Little mini crisis here. She's back. She comes and shows her baby to Donovan and Durkee. So it's Lank and Mark. She's tall and skinny with long nails. Say for tell for Durkee and Donovan that he baba by a work is. Maar dat her man, Piet, you must know who he is. Say, say my net fast, but she must just hang on. Donovan and Sue Ellen Fleister eats to ring coffee mark. They're whispering something. You can guess what they're whispering about. And how schuldig op met gesels to lien nader kom. And they guiltily stop talking when she comes closer. So I praat seker oor haar werk by die salon. She's probably talking about coming back and working at the salon again. So teen toesluiting state. Closing time, Fra Durkie and Donovan for lien om te sit. Come sit down, we need to gesels, we need to talk. Donovan sê dat Sue Ellen wil terugkom en sy begin maandag. Lien kan elke twee maande vir hom een gratis saarsnek kom kry. Uh, this is quite devastating news for, for Lien. They make, try and soften the blow a bit by saying she can come every two months for a free haircut. And they will still sponsor Brahms cricket team. Lien vra dat hulle as hulle as a brief nie Engel moet noem nie. Please don't call me Engel. Whatever you do. She's been wanting to say that for a long time. It's been annoying her. Um, if you can remember. So op pad huis toe sê Durkie dat hy alles probeer het. So she drives home with Durkie. Says I tried everything to make uh, Donovan keep you. But he has the most shares in the shop. In the business. So his say uh, is the most. Carries the most weight. Uh, 
Lynn goes to a traveling agent, remember her goal, okay, what she wants to do. Let's go now 10,000 rand cost on her to fly. 10,000 rand to fly overseas. Then we'd say work 20,000 rand in our reckoning head. Then she must still have 20,000 rand in her bank account. Um, so I can talk for Tani Betts for her on the 20,000 rand to lien, okay, to borrow the 20,000. Die vrou verduidelik dat sy hotelwerk, restaurantwerk of sekuriteitswerk kan doen. So as jy kan doe hotelwerk, restaurantwerk, security work, as jy laat jy go for 2 years, but jy kan only work for 1. Ok, Lien wonder waar sy werk kan vraag. Now she's out of a job, remember? And she is looking for a job. She got an idea though, in the costume room. Ok. All right, I think we'll uh, stop it there. Yeah, that's 30, 31 minutes or so. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll be able to do another video. Um, I seem to do these very late at night. So, but if you want the notes, please pick up the notes. Please support me. It really helps me as well just to keep going. Um, and so on, pick up the notes uh, from, from, from there. Email me, WhatsApp me. Uh, 100 rand for all the poetry notes like you would have seen in the videos and also all these notes that you see in these video tutorials so um, hope it helps good luck I know you must be going crazy in this crazy time it will end and it will get better <laughs> let's stay positive together awesome I'm gonna stop it there bye bye chat soon